Koinesia, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 4 of season 2 of The Demon Girl Next Door, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. oh my god, the yeah, little cute mascot thing's coming today. <laughs> it's just, you know, not been on your mind, baby. Yes, find your girlfriend, sister, so you can make your girlfriend happy. Why? Basically, yeah. Okay, Cody, 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 go, go, go lay down. I'll be done in like less than 30 minutes. Is that supposed to be the sound of a train? Well, honey, wait, wait, wait. Why don't you want, uh, ask the occult chick? Because she would be a little bit better on that, maybe. Seriously? Seriously. Are we going as the order of rabbit with this? Heck, it even has one of the magic circle thingies. Oh, yep, there she is. No, cause I, no, 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 thank you. Thank you, but no thank you, boo boo. Have fun. Is there even anybody there? Oh. 
I don't know why, but the restaurant kind of gives me, like, death rate vibes. Oh, my God, she's so cute! What the? F Sir, you sound kind of like Momo's cat. Well, yeah, you know, Shamiko, why don't you go ahead and work here? You know, get some extra money, boo-boo. It can help for you and your mom and your sister. You know, anything you want to, you want to treat yourself, you know. I mean, ever since now that I have an actual job besides this, like, you know, I think I kind of treat myself a little too, too much. But, you know, that's okay. She's not going to be able to remember all them numbers. So almost like from, uh, what is that one series? A restaurant from another dimension or something like that? Yeah, the restaurant Isekai show, whatever the fuck that show was called. She getting it though. Yeah. That was lunch rush? Oh, that looks good. Can we also invite friends and family as well? Can they eat free too? Because, you know, hey, that food look good. Mm -hmm. 
Poor babies. I look good. Oh my god. Oh. Baby's eating good tonight. Fancy. <laughs> Oh. And she cut it up so perfectly. Oh my god. The portion sizes and everything. Girl. You doing good, Shamiko baby. And she's taking pictures of the I mean, well, yeah, everybody does this, but there are some people who like to just do the whole Instagramming thing of their food and be like, yes, I'm going to take a picture of every single freaking type of food I've eaten for 365 days, which is a lot of dedication, though. That's how I feel with, with certain customers when they come into my store and ask me, like, the weirdest questions. Ooh. But food, Momo, food. Tomorrow for sure. Maybe we should, you know, tail her, but yeah, you shouldn't do that though. Well, you know, this is Shamiko Chica, you know, we're talking about. It's also Lala from, you know, Pretty Cure. So, of course, she's going to get distracted by something. Just because. Yeah, she's been put to under the influence of something at work. Come on, it happens to all of us. We have that mentality of, like, how we act when we're at work versus how we act when we're at home. And sometimes that, like, you know, that little mentality that we have when we're at work kind of comes into when we come home. And that took less than 60 seconds, right? Like, you would expect that they would do that joke again. I mean, come on now.
<laughs> Do we have to have that? It's a little pizzazz, but because it's Mikan. <laughs> Good luck, Lilith. Yes. Hang on tight. Yo, what the hell? <laughs> So don't die. Can I go home? I want to go home. That's the thing. Bring this joke back. <laughs> Cody! Also, Liko kind of sounds a little familiar to me. I just cannot picture who she is. We're going home!
so you kind of do what um what the chef dude does from Judges of Bizarre Adventure Diamond is Unbreakable. Yeah, yeah, but uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. Well, I mean, it was a good, productive day. Hey, sleepyhead. You sure did, but it's okay. You get on tomorrow. they bought back, you know, the magical girl transformation scene, joke esque how it took her only under 90, 95 seconds for Momo to transform, because going back to season one and seeing the timer, I was like, what the fuck does this mean? And literally after that first episode, like, I think for like, what, two weeks straight, I had a whole bunch of people tell me the exact same thing. And once I got it, I was like, oh, okay. It's like, all right, I was like, what the fuck, but okay. And the fact that they brought that joke back in, I mean, how y'all doing it like Comey's on. Like, what Comey, the, the running gag of Comey for season two was the fucking opening song playing at the most crazy, interesting parts where you're like, you you think it's not going to show up, but it shows up. But yeah, I mean, seeing Lilith dress up in a cute little adorable costume. Ah, he's so cute, baby! Oh my god, um, Loco and, and her boss—they're both very interesting. But yeah, Loco kind of really sounds like someone who I know for a say you, but I literally cannot think about who it is. She kind of sounds similar to um, what the fuck is her name? I know her name starts with an A. She w no, it's not Silica's voice. Um, it's freaking. Oh my God! What is your name? What is your name? Leafa. She's she sounds very similar to Leafa Sayu. Like especially when you comparing her to what I heard and thinking like, okay, she kind of sounds like Leafa versus she also kind of sounds like Sachiko from Idol Master versus she voices best girl, you know, and um quintessential quintuplet. So it kinda sounds like her. I'm not one hundred percent sure it is her. Cause you have a lot of Seiyus who sound very similar to other Seiyus and then you find out that it's not that say you're thinking of. I mean how freaking um Shield Hero is kinda doing that with one of these characters and she kinda sounds like a character 
from Don Machi, especially with the way how she voices um, or says a certain word. And I'm like, bruh, that has to be her. And just last week, they all said, no, that's not her. That's someone else. And I'm like, but that sounds like her. That sounds like her. So how are you telling me that's not her when that sounds like her? You know? I mean, but yeah, I thought it was a really cute episode. Love seeing Shamiko in a maid uh, outfit. Like, come on. That's, like, the highlight. Now it makes me want to, like, you know, see Momo and, and Mikan and the rest of the cast. Even her mom and her sister in, like, little maid uniforms. That would be so freaking cute. But yeah, in a way, we kind of went, is the order a rabbit this week with this week's episode? And honestly... I'm not mad at it. I miss that show so freaking much that I need that show to make at least another season or another movie or both because everybody knows how much I fucking love that cast, that story, and that series and the things that they would do. And I'm like, uh, I need, I just need more in my life. Like, uh, <laughs> with that series. So that's also, once again, with this show and several other shows that are also made by the um kita time manga series that one day and, and and if this happens it will literally be the best like awesome like the number one crossover the kita fantasy game that eventually becomes into an anime and we get to see all these girls and guys that we've all seen in so many different animes all be featured together in one big ginormous anime so please for the love of christ let it happen you have it in the game and, you know, one minute you're blocking and you're unblocking and, and ish for that game. I have not played that game in forever, but, like, the last time that I really sat and talked about it, it's that one picture or one card of Shamiko and Momo, and I think it's Shamiko's little sister. And it's more of a summery, beachy s card. And we're, we're focusing on what I'm, like I said, once again, what it seems like is Shamiko's little sister. But in the background, you have Shamiko and Momo at, like, a cute little dinner table together having dinner and such by the pool. And I was like, oh, my God, they're on a date. They're on a date. It's like, oh, my God. In a way, it is canon. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of season two of The Demon Girl Next Door. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode five. Bye, guys.